Welcome. Today my guest is Lorraine Martins. Uh, Lorraine is Director of Diversity and Inclusion with Network Rail. She's been in the role for six years and she's going to be giving us some insights and some tips in what it is to be a successful strategist. In GC Index terms, she has a strong strategist profile and we're going to learn from her experience about the skills that have underpinned her success. Lorraine, the strategist profile suits you, someone who's keen to see purpose and meaning in endeavour, capable of uh, seeing patterns and trends, joining up the dots. Does this describe you? It, it describes me to a T, John. Um, I guess the things that I identify quite regularly are um, different initiatives, different patterns of behaviour. I look at data to inform some of the environment that I'm looking in. I immerse myself in kind of things that are happening and really try to draw those things together for the bigger picture. Um, and then think about how I can help others see that bigger picture and understand how they might help to contribute to it. Yes, and that's the crux of it, it strikes me. But just being a little nosy, have you, have you always had that curiosity about the relationship between events looking back? Um, I think I have actually and I think part of it may may in part be in how I've been raised so as a young black woman born in London um, grew up in the 60s uh, my parents were uh, quite articulate but they were also part of that generation of people that um, were not necessarily welcomed here although they were invited to, to, to this country and I guess they identified a lot of activities and things were happening in the time and kind of you know fitted their experience into a broader experience which I guess myself and my brother and sister kind of imbibed. Yes so making sense of things has been part of your life given that, Absolutely. that early experience and, and you were talking then about it's interesting isn't it um, what you may be able to see because of that proclivity uh, but, but the challenge of sharing that with other people um, does it come easily to you to, to, to see the big picture, to see patterns and trends? Um, I, th I think it does. Uh, I don't know whether that's nature or nurture, but I think, yeah. you know, at, at my stage of my career, that's actually the thing that I go to first yes. and foremost. How do I identify what needs to be done? How does that link with other elements of, of activities and initiatives that we're driving? And how can I get other people to see those patterns and understand yes. those patterns yes. and make the link between the business yeah. of what, whatever it is that yeah. we're doing. And I think that's where our learning is going to be. So seeing things comes yeah. readily to you. Yes. Sharing what you see in yeah. your head, yeah. I guess, presents other challenges. Yes, it, it does, because um, my particular discipline is around diversity and inclusion. And so enabling people to understand diversity and inclusion in a broader sense that they may than they may already understand it yeah. is one of the things that I need to be able to do. Mm. And so I need to be able to paint a picture of the direction of travel mm. that, that helps people understand why they might want to apply diversity and inclusion principles, yeah. why, that, why it's good for them, why it's good for the business, um, what the benefits are, what the added value is. I have to be able to help them see that picture. Let me slow you down a bit because there's, there's a, that, 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 that's rich, that dis description. Let's, um, let's dig into it. The, the, the painting of a picture, that, the language seems quite deliberate. Is that what you consciously do when you're engaging um, others? I think I have to, um, partly because the discipline of diversity and inclusion can feel a bit amorphous yeah. and everybody has a slightly different picture yeah. in their minds so what I try to do is give it a broad sweep um, and enable people to put their kind of smaller picture into that bigger piece. Oh, that's interesting. Can you, have you got an example of how that works? Um, yeah, if I start with um, some of the work that we've been doing at Network Rail. So, we have a strategic objective, which is to make the business a much more open, inclusive and um, diverse organisation. So how does that translate into the rail sector when really our focus is about getting people from and, and freight from A to B? So my picture to people is, well, everybody 
is impacted by diversity and inclusion. Everybody is diverse, we all have our individual traits and features, um, and we can all bring that to bear on how we understand what we're doing. And the more that we're enabled to, to bring ourselves into the business, to bring our expertise, our lens, the better we are able to perform, the more that we're able to understand each other, the better that we can coalesce, collaborate, and deliver a much better trained performance. So the picture is, for me, our, our reason, our raison d'etre is about getting people in freight from A to B, and everybody has a, a part to play in that, irrespective of where you sit in the business. And as long as you're able to give of yourself, then actually you'll be contributing your part. I think the challenge is, mm. if you feel in any way that you're inhibited from contributing, that's when you get excluded from the environment and therefore you, our performance is diminished. There was something else in there that just feels subtle too, because I think often the mistake that strategists make is that what they see is the reality that becomes a prescription for others, so much more directive, and it sounds that that's not your style. So there's this painting of a picture, but allowing people freedom to make sense of what that means for them. I think that's really important because fundamental to what I'm doing is trying to change an environment and a culture and an industry. Yes. And if I'm not able to engage people in that vision, then we will remain the same. Yes. So I have to enable people to feel some ownership of the direction of travel, yeah, no. rather than feel it's been imposed on them or it's something that they yeah. want to resist. It would be contradictory, it wouldn't it? Absolutely, way, contradictory. Actually. absolutely. Yes, contradictory. Yes, because saying this is what, yeah. it yeah. looks like yeah. in practice, yeah. off you that's go right. and do that's it. Right. Off you go. And for some people that might work, and for others it won't work. They have, you know, so you have to, I think being a strategist, you have to think about the, the different audiences that you're playing to, yes. the different stakeholders that you yes. have. Yeah, to respond to in order to deliver the strategy. C can you can you give us a bit of um, flavour around that because that's that's interesting. The different yeah, yeah. So so you can have a, a board who will have a very high level understanding and appreciation of the the task at hand or the objective, or they may well have set it. And then you'll have the the leadership, the, the paid executives, who will undertake you know whatever activities need to be done and, and filter those down. And then you'll have somebody who might be an operative or a, a signaller who is slightly distant from the bigger picture yeah. who needs to understand what it means for their day-to-day -day activity so to be able to explain that in very and distill it in very straightforward simple terms I think is really important for something like diversity in yes industry. so so by giving people the principles letting them run with that and turn it into into practice for you is, is brought great I, I think it's absolutely key. I think any strategist needs to align what they're doing to the yeah, business. Yeah, there is something and if you alignment, don't, isn't there? If you don't do that, then you struggle in a yeah. sense. You're buttressing up against the business yeah. and, uh, and therefore it becomes a much more difficult task to achieve. Right. Thank you so much for your time and your wonderful insights. Uh, much appreciated and I'm sure our audience will learn a good deal from them. Thank, Thank you for inviting me.